so in this video i'll tell you the happy cruising speeds of this motorcycle and if the gps works fine then you'll know what's the corresponding true gps speed in fact on that side i just did a top speed run and let me tell you straight away that this is an almost zero vibration motorcycle let me first bring it to 80 km per hour zero vibrations let's check 90 90 zero vibrations Okay, post 90, there is a faint buzz in the foot pegs that most might not even notice. No substantial increase at 100 kilometers per hour on the speedo in vibrations. In fact, that buzz is so negligible. that you would not even refer to it as vibrations now let me pin the throttle see like i said even at its top speed of over 120 km per hour on the speedo as well as on the gps there are almost zero vibrations even right now you know the buzz is just enough to tell you that you're riding a real motorcycle and not a washing machine on wheels also known as an electric motorcycle this point the vibrations or that buzz has increased just a wee bit but nothing that would make you back off the throttle i have the throttle pinned the crux is you can maintain 90 to 100 all day on this motorcycle in fact you can even maintain 110 as well in fact i have no problems keeping the throttle pinned
matter is unlike the UCE and the CIA bullets you can maintain 100 kilometers per hour easily while touring you can even keep the throttle pinned for as long as you can and the bike will do 120 without shaking your bones off at all so yes now with the advent of the J series engine in fact the J series engine debuted with the Meteor 350 and now this motorcycle even the Meteor, Hunter and the classic Reborn are using the engine as a fully stressed member and even then there are almost zero vibrations so yes hats off to Royal Enfield for getting rid of vibrations in their new motorcycles and yes it's a modern engine and it behaves like one so I hope you like the video do hit the like button do subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.